Well, I was actually born in a, in a small town called Darlington, South Carolina. You may have heard of it, uh, or at least you, you may have heard of the Darlington uh, Speedway. I've got uh, uh, seven brothers, uh, three sisters, uh, so we had a you know pretty big family you know growing up. Are you the oldest of seven, middle seven? I or? am the oldest out of all the boys. Out of all the boys? I'm the oldest. I have one sister older than I am. So did you kind of have to take a little more extra responsibility seeing as you were the oldest? And... Well, I, I, I consider, and I tell them all the time, I raised them all to me. I raised every one of them, that's right. You know, at least that's what I tell them too, right? And, and plus I had an uncle, uh, my, my uncle Troy Samuel passed away a couple of years ago, but he had uh, a huge influence on me joining the military. Uh, when I would see him and see him in uniform and see how, how sharp and neat he was, and I knew then that, that, that uh, the only thing I wanted to do as, as, as a kid was, was be a soldier. So every time you see him in uniform, you were kind of awestruck then. It, exactly, exactly. He was my motivation. He was my inspiration for, for doing this, it was, was Malcolm Troy, you know. Um, and I wanted to be like him. I wanted to be just like him. During your time in the Army, mm -hmm. what are you most proud of? Going down uh, to, uh, to Fort Benning and, 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 and jumping out of an aircraft with my youngest son. And, and the other one is, is, is it promoted my son to sergeant uh, in Iraq. To be able to, to go out there and actually promote him was, was those are probably two of the things that I will, will always remember. What would you say was your favorite assignment? I would have to say this is probably my best assignment. Any assignment on Fort Bragg to me is a good assignment. So this is what I always wanted to do. Bragg speaks a totally different language. And so when you stay here, you know, too long without uh, being assigned to some of those other units, you, you kind of miss things, you know, you kind of, so it's better to leave Bragg and come back, and that's kind of what I did, and, and it made me have a greater appreciation for, for what we do here on, on Fort Bragg. Please, 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 please. What would you say was the biggest challenge uh, during your Army career? It, it definitely was balancing family and, and Army, um, and, and, and I didn't get it exact, exactly right all the time. I mean. Um, when you have the opportunity to spend time with your family, you know, treat it as, as if uh, it's a holiday. You, you, you never know in this business. I mean, we, we, we go so much, and we, 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 we always go and mock for, and, 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 and time with family is, is, is important stuff. And sometimes you don't realize it until it's too late. That, that's the problem. That's the problem we have is type A folks, you know, wearing the uniform. I mean, it's, th this is tough business, and, and, and it's all about balance at the end of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, Mansour Major Retired, Joseph R. Allen. I read a story a little while back. You did another interview with another soldier, and you were talking about the time as young Staff Sergeant Allen, you put your car in the wrong parking spot. Can you uh, elaborate on that a little bit? That did happen. Um, I, I think that I think all of us at, 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 at some time in this business have, have, have turned into a genius. That's what I call it. I turned into a genius that day. I decided to park my car, Staff Sergeant Allen, in yeah. the Corps Sergeant Major parking place. And when, I, when I came out, the MPs were there, and they was kind of standing there, and I, I kind of you know, gave them those calf salute, you know, you know, one of those. And, uh, and uh, he said that the, the Corps Sergeant Major just drove by, and he wanted to know who was in his, in his parking place, and that landed me at, for the very first time, that was back in 1981. Okay. And that landed me in the 18th Airborne Corps Sergeant Major's office, the very first time I've ever been in the 18th Airborne, Airborne Corps headquarters. But what I would remember about it probably more than anything is that he didn't beat me up. He called me in my office and he, and he sat me down and he said, uh, he said, he said uh, Sergeant Allen, have a seat. I thought it was a trap. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a trap, <laughs> have a seat. That's not what I went in for. I, I thought he was going to kill me. That's what I was expecting anyway. He said, um, would you like a cup of coffee? A cup of coffee, and I, this guy's gonna poison me. That's in my mind. Is this guy's gonna poison me? You know, he's, he's got to kill me. I know he is. I'm waiting on that. And he said, one day you're gonna be a sergeant major. He said, and you need to protect those things that belong to the sergeant major. He said, there's not many perks in being a sergeant major. He said, when things go go wrong, he said they they figure out a way to blame it on the sergeant major. This is what he said, and that taught me a lot. That taught me a lot about 
soldiering. Just, you know, do the right thing, you know, whether somebody is, is watching or not, but do the right thing, you know. And, and it's not about punishing all the time. It's about communicating with, with people, with soldiers. You, know, you don't have to punish everybody for everything. And, and oh, by the way, uh, ironically, I ended up being the 18th Airborne Corps Sergeant Major. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am truly honored for your presence here today. I'm fully aware that some of you are here to show your support. And I'm equally aware that some of you are here to make sure that I'm really retired. <laughs> but regardless of the reason, I'm truly honored that you're here. And thank you so very much. What do you hope to leave as a legacy? I'm not into the legacy thing as all that because I, I'm not sure one person can leave a, a legacy on, a, on an organization like the military. I think that um, it's not about a legacy on the Army. I think it's more about that, that impression of that, um, what you did for that individual, that, that, that one guy or one gal um, to, to, to help them and to, to grow in this business. Um, but I think that, that I've, I've, I've done my best to, to take care of, of soldiers.